What is going on, Warriors of Tamaris? Welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to catch up with elk rider farmer killers. This is going to be a speed guide video. I'm going to show you some talent trees that you can use to chase people on the map. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more content, turn on the bell notification and never miss out like the video, share it with your friends, leave some comments down below. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to stop elk rider farmer killers. In today's video, we're going to show you how to stop this killer who has like five elk riders. He just comes into the Alliance territory and just smashes everybody and runs away. Now I'm going to show you why it is very, very difficult to catch an elk rider on the map. So we're going to go to the night training camp and then we see what is going on. So this is a problem with the eagles, the knights and the wolf riders. This unit type have this unyielding rush. So it says, much speed increases when approaching the target legion. After colliding with a ranged legion, the hero commanding this legion gains 1000 rage. This effect can be triggered once every 12 seconds. The elk riders are considered a ranged unit. So if you try to chase an elk rider with a knight or a wolf rider, it is not going to work. This unyielding rush is going to keep you behind that elk rider. It doesn't matter whether you're faster than him or not. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. Every time you're chasing an elk rider and you have a knight or a wolf rider, you should go in front and then try to intercept them from there. If you try to chase from behind, well, you're never ever going to catch up with them. So today I'm going to show you guys the talent trees that I used. Then I'm going to show you the video clip of us stopping this farmer killer. So let's go straight to the heroes. What was I using? So I had Madeline primary and Atheus secondary. Now some of you are going to be like, what the heck are you doing, dude? What is that? So let's go to Madeline talent tree and see what's really going on. So basically I had this smart speed. I got this smart speed. This one is 10%. This one is 10%, making it 20%. Another one here, 30%, 40% plus this one here, 9% so I had 49% march speed from the Madeline talent tree and then I put Atheus behind. Atheus brought another 20% march speed giving it like 69% march speed and on top of that I was using this artifact here. Where did I put it? Let's find it. Yes, I was using this artifact known as the spring bird feather. This one gave me another 30% march speed. So my Madeline was moving at a super fast speed. Now my second march was Emery's primary. So from the Emery's talent tree, I got this march speed. I got this. I got this one right here. I took this one. I got this one. And then I also got this one here. A super fast march speed for running around chasing people and making them not get away. Behind Emery's, I had Thea who was awakened. So my Thea was providing a shield for my Madeline and my Madeline was using this artifact here to boost both Emrys and Madeline. So let's see what really happened. Now you guys should remember that every time you chase an elk rider, you're never going to catch them. If you have a forest eagle, you have a knight or you have a wolf rider. Your best bet is to go in front and then to try to corner them from there or just intercept them. So let's get into the video clip. Well, 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 warriors of Tamaris. The chase is about to begin. We have a farmer killer with five elk rider marches. This is something we've never seen before. And you know, the funny thing is when you chase an elk rider with a knight or a wolf rider, you're never going to catch up with them. Today, I have a fast speed build for my Madeline and for my Emery's. My main mission is to go in front and intercept. And then my teammate can get the job done. So this farmer killer th still thinks he's gonna get away. That's not gonna be the case today. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, he's changing direction. As you can see, all the other knights are trying to catch him from behind, but that just doesn't work. I'm just gonna try and go to the front. Can we corner him from here? Let's see how that's gonna play out. Almost there. 
Okay, should I make a U-turn? Okay, he changed direction. Time to switch the plan again. Now, if you don't pay close attention, well, you're never going to catch this guy. That is just something you have to keep in mind. Elk riders are difficult to chase down, especially if you're using the knights and the wolf riders. So with this guy, he basically kills your farmer. And then if you try to retaliate, he run away, he isolates you. You by yourself, it turns into a five versus one. And then he just kills you from there. But that's not going to happen today. I'm here trying to stop him from getting away. Gonna go to the front. I know I am very, very fast. So my goal here is to interrupt his movement. As you can see here, he's trying to get away. I think he got fed up. He's like, let me just take this guy out. Well, I'm just gonna prevent him from going to the other side. Now we have got him where we want him to be. There is no more escape from now. Everybody is gonna corner him here. And then make him pay. I'll take the lead. And here we go. It has begun. Now everybody is in position. Just look at the whole alliance coming here to take him down. There is no way he's going to get away today. And there you go. He is cornered right there. I somehow forgot and left my Emrys behind. But here it is guys. Elk Rider down. There is no more escape. It is very, very difficult to deal with an elk rider. I'm not gonna lie. They also have the range, especially if you go and try to take them down alone. Well, you're just gonna get crushed. Five elk riders will just melt you if you try to chase them. You need to go with a team. Okay, this one is trying to get away. I'm gonna use my Madeline to get in front. I have put my Emrys on auto attack. It is just using the unyielding rush without getting close. But the good thing is my Madeline is going to go to the front and then intercept the enemy from there. It is just so much fun chasing this guy around. I'll take the lead. Here we go. Is he going to get away? Someone is intercepting him from the front. Just going to block him. And then this is pretty much it. The farmer killer got outsmarted today. Five elk riders, no escape. Told you I'd win. So this is what you have to do, guys. If you want to take down an elk rider, you don't go from behind. You go to the front and then you intercept. That is the only way. If you try to go from behind, the unyielding rush is going to prevent you from taking down this elk rider. So basically just watch his trajectory, see where he's going, try to go to the front and then intercept him from there. You can also use the blink artifact. When you're chasing him, you blink to the front and then you counter him from there. The unyielding rush is going to work and give you 1000 rage and help you do so much damage. Somehow one of his march just got away. Now trying to chase him, but it looks like he has the recall artifact. If it wasn't for that, my Madeline and Emrys was going to catch up with him 100%. So he uses the recall, gets away, leaves that uh, Craig emoji. Well, today he got what he deserved. So this guy just comes around with five elk riders and just crushes everything. If you try to chase him, well, you're going to get crushed. And that's it for the video, guys. This is how you take down an elk rider in Call of Dragons. You better watch out if you are a knight or a wolf rider. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you're still new here, make sure you subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to be making a cavalry guide that's going to change the way you play with cavalry. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and never miss out when I upload that video. I'm going to link it here. Until then, talk to you guys in the next one. Bye bye for now.